Marcus, first of all, how are you injury wise? Um, same as going in, um, same to prior to Saturday's games, so hopefully, no, no fresh injury news. So it's James Berry, um, Don Votes. Uh, memory serves me right, yeah, just don't it. You thinking of making any changes for tomorrow night? Yeah, um, and that was always the plan and always the script, obviously, for Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday in mind. Um, and certainly the two contrasting games, um, obviously the game just gone and, and going into Tuesday night's game, that was always part of the agenda. you probably experienced results like Saturday throughout your career. Yeah, I've been, you know, I've been involved in them. Um, I've also played where we, we've, we've had that result with opposition and I've had management in terms of being on the end of a, a result like that and also giving results like that to other teams as well so it's um, no there's been plenty of experience in my 42 years certainly so what do you want from your players today in training and tomorrow night it's just we've, we've got to move on quickly obviously we've got to address Saturday move on quickly um, and put the wrongs right as quickly as possible what went wrong in your mind um, listen it, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, for us, what went wrong will be shown by our next couple of results and performances, you know, and if we've learnt from it. Um, so, yeah, I could sit here and, and say X, Y, Z, but the bottom line is we've got to prepare on the training ground um, and we've got to put the wrongs right and we've got no better way to do that than on, on Tuesday against Newport. And these results do happen throughout football don't they? What it does is. and like I said if it was us who won 5-0 I wouldn't be sitting there saying we're going, going on now and we're going to win the league you know it, it is it is what it is but it, it's quickly you move on so you, you know in football you never get too high when you win you never get too low it's important for me as a manager to take the emotion out because there's a lot of emotion obviously um, you know I felt the supporters frustrations you know, I had friends and families in, in that end as well, in the away end. And, you know, going back to me, my first club was a so We could talk all day about the emotions they were feeling, but as a manager now, we've got to take that away. And we've got a job to do as professional, professional people. Um, and we've got to be mentally strong um, for the challenges ahead. Has it had your managerial experience then? I've been there before, so, you know, being there and what we've gone through and like every experience is a chance to learn. every disappointment is a chance to be better and learn and grow um, and that's what we'll be looking to do is it good to have a game on Tuesday night? Uh, yeah I couldn't have gone I don't think I could have gone Saturday to Saturday if I'm being honest um, yeah it would have been a very long week so no it's um, really important we're delighted we've got this opportunity against Newport. And you go into Newport and it's a bit of a put in pitch to play on. Certainly and that's, you know, back you know, to the beginning. Um, that was always mindful of when we, we were picking teams. So what we do on Tuesday will be no reflection on what happened on Saturday. It was always going to be the case of that's what we were going to do. And Darren Ferguson mentioned mentioned the pitch and how difficult it was and what what a decent side Newport are as well. Yeah, and, and this is the level of, of, of this league. Um, you know, Crowley came down from League One and on their day, like we've seen, they can play, they can be ruthless and they certainly were ruthless. Um, and at other times, you know, you look and you, you talk about their record, so it is the most successful teams are those teams who can get that consistency and that's what we're striving to do, to find the ingredients um, that ultimately gets that consistency. And what are your reports saying about Newport? <laughs> Don't read into the league table, you know, and um, they'll be fighting for their livelihoods. Um, so you, we can imagine what we were like in that season. We got relegated at what, every game. Hey, that meant every 45 minutes, every minute of that game. So, no, we've got to stand up to that and we've got to be, be you know, we've got to stand up to it and we've got to be better than it. Um, but when you've got people fighting for their livelihoods, um, it can be difficult. Um, but we're hurting as well, and we've got something to fight for as well, so it's going to be a right good fight. They've got Ryan Baird there, who knows where the goal is as well, mate. Yeah, so have we got some players as well. Um, and I can't wait for them to hit the back of the net and, and we get going. 
you mentioned obviously uh, James and Dom are still injured. Are they any closer to to return? Or yeah, they won't be. I'd imagine they wouldn't be too far far away. Um, so uh, fingers crossed on that one. Of course, yeah. And obviously looking forward to tomorrow night. You say it'll be a scrap. Is that sort of the ideal uh, game then to present itself? That the fact it will be a scrap and a, a chance for the players to to fight. Again? I, I think the football pitch, um, the way it is, presents itself that way. The way Newport set up to play on that pitch presents itself that way. So we've got to, you know, we've got to face it, you know, head on. So yeah, it's going to be um, a war of nutrition, a battle of will, and who wants it the most. In in that sense, does it make it sort of the preparation for the game a little bit different to say the other forty five of the season, where you can sort of focus on yourselves to to attack the pitch and uh, things like that to make uh, it? It'd still be, you know, the same approach will be. What we've got now is we've, we've got a squad we believe now has the versatility and utility to make changes based on, like you said, every game is different, styles, systems, pitches. So Saturday and Tuesday for me can't be t- and are so contrasting, um, but our group will be able, obviously, let itself down on Saturday, but hopefully this group has got enough in it with the players we've brought in and, and the players we've got now to be able to adapt and go on Tuesday night and go toe to toe with Newport. Of course, yeah, and obviously, like you say, you take one game at a time and prepare just as so, but how important is it to look at the bigger picture as well? You're still only six points off the playoffs. It's it's one of those divisions, isn't it, where anything can happen from, from game to game? Yeah, and, and like I said, it's really important. And I don't manage this group or this football club based on emotion, uh, but I understand supporters and you know we just want to make them happy and that belief like you said is still there and, and while you've still got that target you know six points it's something we can hold to and aspire to and try and go and get um, but in the meantime the right here right now is we've got a bounce back from Saturday not only with more importantly than me than the result is actually the performance and the character and the mentality of the players um, I've always said it's important not to lose back to back and picking up that result but when you come off a result like we just have it's important I see character and, and, and that mentality Of course yeah and obviously the, uh, there were 740 fans on Saturday there'll be countless hundred more again tomorrow night it must be, be nice to that you still get that support and that they'll be backing you from minute one as well I think you used the key word there support and like I said I, I'll separate the football fan from supporters and fans, you know, you have your fair weather fans who jump on the bandwagon with the success, etc, etc, your armchair fans, but supporters and this football club has got supporters and I've already touched on it um, in terms of two scenarios where really felt that support, two penalty decisions, Omar Bog and James McEwen and off the back of a back of a defeat in the manner in which we had again, I just felt Instead of talking about our fight, it was it was us as a football club had to show our support to the supporters because it's a two way thing and we're only ever going to get success if we're together in this um, and we've got to enjoy you know we're going to have the roughs and the smooths with it but along the way um, you know for me my respect and to the supporters well you know like I said I've I've joined and it's a pleasure to manage this football club.